Hey, all my fellow quarantiners. Welcome to Crash Course Cooking with Chef Paul. It's that time again. Get in the kitchen. Let's do some cooking. I'm going to make some banana bread today. Real easy to, to make, and it only takes an hour to cook in the oven. So I'm going to get started. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with one and three quarters, and I'm going to obviously put the recipe on there at the end for you. Um, what we're going to do first is get our sifter. This is an this is not your everyday normal run-of-the-mill sifter. It's a hand crank sifter. And it just, you could use a sifter. This is just, this, I have this, but you could just use a sifter, put, every, put all your dry ingredients in it, and just sift it through. It's, either way is fine. I am probably going to make a mess out of this. Okay, so far so good. So that's one and three quarters cup of flour. Baking powder, we're gonna put two teaspoons baking powder. One, two. Baking powder, remember, baking powder puffs. It'll elevate it, so that's what P, baking powder puffs, baking soda spreads. That's what, a little tidbit of information for you. Um, so baking soda, a half a teaspoon. Okay, that's it. And then it also calls for some salt. So three or yeah, three quarters teaspoon of salt, three quarters, whatever. I mean, really. okay, one, two, three, four turns. That's perfect. And then I'm going to sift this with the hand crank. See, and then sometimes, so what it does is, and you can probably see the chunks that kind of didn't didn't get, you know, and that's that's the point of sifting is so you don't have these little chunks in there. And then you know, with a sit, what you can just touch, you know, touch them with your fingers, and man, they're just they go away that like that. So that's all in there. So we're good to go on that, and we set that aside. Now we will, in a mixing bowl, we will beat sugar and butter until light. Now I want to show you. Pan over to the tabletop mixer that I have. I have a KitchenAid tabletop mixer, but most of you don't, so I won't use it, okay? But most of you do have an electric hand mixer, so I can use that. You know, in culinary arts school, if you had a hand, you had a mixer. We didn't have any electric hand mixers. We didn't have microwaves either. We weren't able to use anything like that. You know, if we wanted to heat something up, you put it in a pan, put it on the stove, and heat it up. No microwave. So let's get started with the rest of this. Okay, so we're going to add a, okay, for uh, in a mix, we're going to beat the sugar and the shortening. Sugar, one cup. Add shortening, I'm using butter, one stick of butter, of which I did put in the microwave for one minute on the power of two. So, and it started to melt a little bit, but um, that's okay. But it's nice and, um, soft and that's the whole idea so I am going to use an electric mixer because I'm not in culinary art school anymore I can do it if I want to no normally I do use the tabletop mixer because it's just first of all I love it it's fun to use um, but I'll just do it this way to show you you could do it hey you could do it if you don't have one of these hey you know like I said if you have a hand, you have a mixer. You can really all we're doing is incorporating each and each of the two ingredients. So you can see, you know, that's but when you have a whisk, see everything gets kind of a pain in the butt cuz everything gets stuck in the whisk. So, I mean, it can be done. You can do it. I'm going to go back to the electric mixer. And really all we're doing here is beating the sugar and the butter until light. Until light. I mean, they're light. 
Looks light to me. So, beat until light. Okay, that's that. And then we are going to add eggs one at a time, then milk. Beat until smooth after each addition. Add flour. Okay, so we're going to add into this, we are going to add one egg at a time. Get all fancy and do it with one hand. Or do it with two. But we're only going to do one at a time for now. We're going to beat that thing in there. until it's all nice and smooth then we're going to add the other one looks smooth to me time for the other one okay we're going to do this until it is smooth After each of you, then we are going to we will add flour mixture and bananas alternately to the creamed mixture, this being the creamed mixture. Creamed in the two eggs. Okay, now we will go ahead and add flour mixture and banana alternately to the creamed mixture. So, okay, that brings me to the bananas. I don't know if you can see this. Can you see that? These are four bananas of which I ripened to air on the counter till they were brown, light, light brown. Um, put them in the freezer and that's, what I, that's how I have done it for years. So then I just take them out, put them in a you know, pan or whatever, um, a bowl, uh, and let them thaw out. And then you just peel them and put them in here. So they're actually nice and soft. And there's extra, there's, they pr uh, produce some juice on the side, so that'll help moisten the bread as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put um, the add flour and banana alternately. So I'm gonna go, I've got four bananas there, so I'm gonna put roughly a quarter of the mixture here. Um, well, I'm just gonna do it by eye, because, I mean, it's not rocket science. So we'll just do that. And we will mix it in and make a mess. It's the other part, fun part about cooking is making a mess, isn't it? Cleaning it's not fun. You add a banana. Great. Now another quarter of this, so roughly half of it's in. And we're going to mix it. Kind of what you would expect. It's just... So, anyways, so I'm gonna put in a banana. And mix it in. Okay, this can go on high speed. All right, looks good. So, let's look at the rest of the directions before going any further. So, um, so we've done all that. We've and now you can fold in some nuts if you want, pecans, walnut. What you know, if you want. Typically, my kids don't really care for that, so I don't put it in there. But you can add a quarter of a cup of chopped nuts of your choosing, um, and just fold them in. So we're going to turn this batter into a lightly greased loaf pan, and I, I use Pyrex. Um, whenever I'm making banana bread or, or this I also like to use it for meatloaf when I make that here is here is the banana bread mixture and we are going to put it in our loaf pan See if you can see. Can you see what I'm doing? Heather. Okay. All right. So I'm, gonna tr I'm trying to make it so you can see without contorting myself or making a mess anywhere. Because if I make a mess, I just have to clean it up. So.
All right. We want to get all of it. All of it in there. Oh, by the way, preheat your oven to 350. Mine is, is already preheated and ready to go. And another old trick is to, when you have all your batter in the loaf pan, you can kind of tap it like this on a on something, a, you know, a softer surface, because um, this is glass, and it, it'll smooth it out. And it'll also, if there's any air pockets in there from folding in your, your dough, it'll get rid of the air so there's no air pockets as well. So that's kind of what this does. Okay, so that's that. Put it in a preheated oven at 350, and I'm gonna put it in right now, and we'll check it in an hour. Let's check the banana bread. The best way to do it is to insert something into the center like a knife or something, or a wooden skewer, or whatever you got, and not, it should come back clear, which it did. So we will take this out. It was in for actually an hour and 15 minutes. It's the first time I've made it in this oven. So everyone's oven is different. Here it is, banana bread. I let it sit in the loaf pan for 10 minutes after I took it out of the oven on a pot holder um, and then took it out and put it on, he on here for another 10 minutes just to let it cool a little bit. So now I think it's time that we should need to cut it and see what it looks like. Oh yeah. Nice and smoke, steamy hot. Let's put some butter on it. So here it is, banana bread. Can you see that? Can you can you take you can you see the flavor in there? Tastes good, doesn't it? <laughs> yep. Actually, let's check it out. I know it's gonna be good. Yeah, I've made this for years, so this is a good recipe. Mmm, moist and banana y. Good stuff. Now, I hope you make this. Let me know and enjoy.